Ralph the photographer here. So you're interested in shooting a PGA event. In order to shoot a PGA event, you need to be affiliated with some sort of media outlet. You can't be a freelance photographer and expect that you're gonna be able to shoot a PGA event. So you need to be associated with uh, Getty, Icon, USA Today, uh, the New York Times, uh, other large media outlets. Even your local media outlets can get you access to the event. There is an approval process. And make sure that you check each event so that you can see what the rules are for applying to get media access. Once you have your media credentials, the next is you need approval from the PGA. That'll happen on the day of the event. So make sure that you've checked in with the PGA before you actually go out and shoot the event. The PGA allows two types of photograph credentials. The first is behind the rope line. The second is in front of the rope line. In front of the rope line lets you get a little bit closer to the action. Behind the rope line access allows you to cover the pageant of the event, you can still photograph the players, you just can't get closer, you can't get in front of that rope line. If you are going to be shooting a PGA event, make sure that you're following a few simple rules. The first is make sure that your camera is on silent or quiet mode. The next is make sure that you're not a distraction to the golfers. Make sure that where you're positioning yourself is nowhere that they can see you as you're moving around as it could be a distraction to them as they're making their shot. The next thing is make sure that as you're walking through the golf course, you're never more than four feet from the rope line. This allows the cameras to be able to take pictures of the golfers and also to make sure that you're not a distraction to the golfer. One of the most important rules, and one of the rules that if you don't follow can get you kicked off the golf course very quickly, is making sure that you're not taking a picture on the golfer's backswing. Make sure that you're waiting until they've made contact first. It's also important that you remain quiet as you're walking through the course. You don't want to be a distraction to the golfers. You don't want to be talking to the golfers. You can't approach them. You do have access that other people don't have access to, but that doesn't mean that you have free access to just approach the golfers. If you're ever not sure where to actually stand, one of the things that you can do is follow the other photographers that are at the event. Depending on the media outlet that you're shooting for will depend upon the type of photo that you're taking. Make sure that you check with your editor for the type of photo that they're looking for. Some media outlets are just looking for stock photos of the player. I'll go through a series of those types of photos for you. Some are looking for more of the pageantry type of photos, where not only are you getting a picture of the player and their action shot, but you're also getting a picture of the crowd in the background. So now that I've gone over how to get access to the event and some of the rules about shooting the event, now I'm going to take you along with me as we go to shoot today's event. The first series you're going to see is my setup by the tee box to capture stock portfolio type pictures. So here are some pictures that I've taken today. Portfolio type pictures are often good for players' websites. Next are some action shots often liked by large media outlets. I also find that players really like these pictures too. The next set of pictures are what I like to call pageantry photos. They show more than just the game. I also recommend that you follow some PGA photographers, take a look at their work, so you can have an idea of what type of shot that you're looking to take before you even go out. And like I said, make sure that you talk to your editor to find out what type of photo they're looking for. I hope you found this video educational. And if you did, please hit that like button. 
You can see more of my work at ralphlavallophotography.com.